We begin with this alarming surveillance video. Deputies say what you see here is a suspected burglar digging a hole to hide a loaded gun outside a courthouse. Yeah, cameras captured the man's bizarre behavior outside the Fayette County Courthouse, and moments later, security rushed in to confront him. Well, Fox Eyes Jacqueline Schultz joins us live now from Forsyth County, where Jacqueline, you spoke to the sheriff about this. Yeah, it turns out the man was showing up for court, but also deputies had a warrant on him for an armed burglary. The sheriff sits down and tells me that the man fortunately had no ill intentions to use his handgun on anyone. But this shows how law enforcement must always be vigilant outside a courthouse for possible threats. Saw an individual uh, doing something very suspicious. He looked to be hiding something. Caught on surveillance, deputies say the man you see is a suspected armed burglar digging a hole and burying a loaded handgun right outside the Forsyth County Courthouse. In today's world, you can't take anything for granted. Is Was it something innocuous? Could it have been an explosive device? Was it something else? Sheriff Ron Freeman sat down with Fox 5 to talk about the brief scare and how deputies tell us they watched the man the whole time on some of their many courthouse surveillance cameras as he dug up a hole under some rocks and buried that 40 caliber Smith & Wesson inside a Louis Vuitton bag. Deputies rushed out to see what he was hiding and confronted him after he went through the metal detectors. Do I believe he had an intent to do harm inside the courthouse? No, there's no evidence to lead to that. But yet, this is a person involved in criminal activity. Deputies say 23-year-old Sheldon Oliver simply wanted to stash his gun somewhere when he had to show up for court as a suspect in a prowling case. Detectives say he even stole a bike and rode it part of the way to make it there. Investigators tell Fox 5 Oliver didn't know it, but they already had a warrant out for his arrest for breaking into and stealing a donation box from an Islamic center. The threat of a gunman attacking a courthouse is all too real for law enforcement nationwide, but especially Forsyth County. Four years ago, deputies outside the old courthouse confronted Dennis Marks as he drove up in a vehicle full of guns and grenades and tried to storm the courthouse. Deputy Daniel Rush was hurt and Marks killed in the shootout. We have full-time staff who monitor those cameras, those access and entry points. They monitor what the deputy sheriffs are doing. They monitor the courtroom. We certainly know the reality that it can happen here. So no, we're never going to let our guard down for that. Oliver is currently in the Forsyth County Jail on a $25,000 bond on charges of burglary, carrying a weapon without a license and reckless conduct. Coming up on Fox 5 News Edge at 11, the sheriff tells us how deputies deliberately and carefully confronted this man going into the courthouse without knowing what his intentions could be. But for now, reporting live in Forsyth County, Jacqueline Schultz, Fox 5 News. All right, Jacqueline.